Well, glad to have you with us on this Saturday noonday prayer meeting time. Glad to have you here again today. Well, it's always a privilege to be able to come to the Lord in prayer, and thank you for those of you that are uh, faithful to pray with us and pray for all that goes on. Uh, let's just uh, remember, if you will, Brother Rocky uh, Long in, in prayer, and also Brother Tim Burgess, and uh, just just remember these guys, put folks of you on prayer. We've got several other sick, but today we're we're going to pray for the services tomorrow. And on the Lord's Day, let's just pray that God would give us just a really uh, good day, that we could see uh, folks saved, that we could see people discipled, and uh, the, 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 the work of the Lord to go forward good. So let's pray for that. Father, we come before you here today, and we just want to thank you for your goodness and your mercy again to us. We thank you for dying for us on Calvary. We thank you for the precious Word of God. And then, Lord, we thank you for our church. And, Lord, you've been so good to us. And you blessed us, and for that we are grateful. And, uh, Lord, we thank you today. Now, Father, we, uh, we come before you uh, and asking for the services on the Lord's Day tomorrow. I would pray that you would, uh, Lord, just uh, fill us with thy power, that we could uh, come into this place tomorrow. And as we uh, walk into the house of God, that we would, uh, uh, Lord, experience the fullness of the Holy Spirit, the leadership of God, and that, Lord, we would just uh, have good communion with you and good fellowship with one another. And so I would ask that even early tomorrow morning as folk begin to come here to be greeters and ushers, and uh, Lord, that they would walk in with an expectation of meeting with you today. I would ask that whenever then our vans go out, that you would give them safety and protection and as they drive, and I pray you would help them to be able to pick up a good number of folk and bring them back to the house of the Lord that you could deal with them and help them. And, and Lord, just use these, use our van ministry, we pray. And, Lord, I pray that you be with our Sunday school hour, that each teacher and each helper would uh, even today be very mindful of their lesson tomorrow, and they would be seeking uh, leadership from God as to what to say and, and how to say it and uh, setting it in order so they can explain it to, uh, Lord, whether it's a, a, just a children's class or an adult class, that we would be looking for the right thing and the right leadership of God. And so I pray that as we come into these classes that we could be filled with the Holy Spirit of God and we could convey the Word of God and it would accomplish the purpose that you would have it to accomplish in each life. And then we would pray that you'd be with the uh, service time themselves. I pray you'd be with, uh, Lord, our children's uh, church services. We have, Lord, some very faithful and dedicated folk that uh, teach in uh, these, these various uh, children's ministries. And I pray you'd give them what you would need tomorrow, bring a good number of young people out to be able to, uh, Lord, there once again, to hear the Word of God. And may it change their lives. May they let the Word of God dwell in their hearts richly in all wisdom. And we commit them to you. I pray you'd be Brother Larry and choir to special singing that will take place tomorrow. I would ask that it could be filled with power from on high. And I would ask that it would prepare hearts. And Father, I pray you'd give help me as I deliver a message. And I believe you have given to me that you'd use it for the glory and honor of the Lord Jesus Christ, and we'll thank you for it. And so, Father, we, we commit all that will take place here tomorrow into thy hands. And, Father, may it be something that would glorify and honor the Lord Jesus Christ, and may he have the preeminence in all that we do or say and what we do. And so we just want to commit ourselves to you. And Lord, we just commit our, our, our church to you. We pray that you would just be with our missionaries and our missionary endeavors our visitation programs as we are going, uh, Lord, uh, into uh, uh, visiting and, and working in our jails and nursing homes and hospitals are very slowly allowed to get back into some of these places and pray you'll use it. I pray you'll uh, continue to be with us as we're witnessing to our family and friends and, and neighbors and loved ones and coworkers and just people we meet as we're passing out tracks and knocking on doors. I pray you just bless it for the glory of God. And, and, Lord, so we just ask you to just use us. Be with our Bible shop ministry, Lord. Uh, trying to put another container of Bibles into the Philippines. I pray you'll bless and use it uh, for, uh, for the glory of Christ in a mighty way. And we just want to commit that to you. And so we would ask that you just be with our ministries here and help us so that we, uh, Lord, could just be used of a mighty God to make a difference in the hearts and lives of men, women, boys, and girls for the cause of the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, Father, I, I do pray for Brother Rocky Long today that you'll be with him and touch his body. Brother Tim Burgess, I pray you touch his body. Uh, Brother Ken Barnett, I pray you lift up these folk. These folk have some, uh, Lord, some serious things going on. There are a number of other sick folk that, Lord, uh, some 
lingering things, some long-term uh, things that we're praying for. I pray you just be with them now and help them today. And so we thank you once again for the privilege of prayer. We thank you for being able to come here today. And Lord, I pray that your, your hand would be upon us on the Lord's day in a mighty way. For it is in Christ's name we pray. Amen and amen.